Let's talk about fake stuff. You drink coffee, you get fake energy. You drink alcohol, you get fake relaxation. When you drink alcohol, you're not really relaxing. You're poisoning yourself. When your body's poisoned with alcohol, it retracts its nervous system because it's so afraid to come into contact with the alcohol, which is a huge acid, that it would rather not participate. So your nervous system for feeling goes away. That's why you feel numb and relaxed. When you're getting a massage, of course, you're relaxing, you're recuperating. If you have a glass of wine, you just poisoned yourself and forced your own nervous system to go and hide. Therefore, you feel relaxed, but you're not really relaxed. You're just going to get up the next day even more miserable, more out of shape, more cellulite. And of course, you're probably hiding from a painful existence. And of course, when you drink alcohol, you're only going to have more of a painful existence that you don't want to deal with the next day. So that's why alcoholics usually become, well, people who drink alcohol become alcoholics because basically your life goes in the shitter more and more and more every time you drink alcohol. And that makes, that makes if that's your coping mechanism, that you run away from a shitty life instead of dealing with it, you're just going to keep drinking your whole life. That's why most alcoholics are alcoholics. And then there's fake feel-good emotions that come from the TV and the movies. It's been proven when you sit there and watch a person, like a gold medal skier, rocketing down the, down the mountain. All humans, regardless of what they watch, have what's called neuro, like neurological mirror, like uh, looking in a mirror and seeing your reflection. Nero mirror firing, which means when you're watching a person ski down the hill, your neurological system is actually firing the exact same neurons in your brain as the, as the person skiing. And what happens here is that you're tricking your nervous system when you watch TV to, to make your nervous system think you're leading a real and fulfilling life, which you're not. I mean, this is what the TV's for. The TV is there is sort of the primary ingredient to say a 15 minute city. Because what they're going to do is they don't, most people don't really move anyway right now. I know most of my friends back in my hometown. They don't even know what 15 minute cities are, but they actually kind of live within one today. They go from the work that they don't like to the liquor store to dull their pain and then back home. And it's like this 15 minute drive. They're already pre-programming humans to already be living in the 15 minute city without even making it public at this point. And how you can get that accomplished is humans need to go out and travel. It's like a nutrient. You actually need to move. You need adventure. You need to accomplish things. You need to become your best self. But if they can sit your arse on the couch and they can trick you to watch TV, you can, through Nero mirror firing, you can trick your body and your nervous system to believe that you're out there doing great things. You're really living your life, but you're not. And when you can trick your nervous system that you're actually living your life when you're sitting there rotting on the couch, they can trick you into 15 minute city. Because if the average Joe today in Canada or the United States tracks where they go to work, where they pick up the grocery store, maybe they go to the gym, they're already inside a 15 minute city. They're already there. So how could a human animal who's born to, you know, transverse the savannah looking for adventure, how can you trick an animal like that to cage themselves inside a 15 minute zoo? Easy, you gotta put that TV on the wall. You gotta fire in the fake emotions, the fake feel good emotions, and you gotta, show people having great times and living, doing great things. And you can trick them. You can trick the nervous system say, I'm getting satisfied. I'm getting this nutrient. I'm, be you know, I'm on an adventure. You're not on a fucking adventure. You're sitting there watching someone on t TV have an adventure. You're getting tricked to give up your entire life for no adventure whatsoever, because that's how they rule you. They rule you through manipulative psychology. And again, everything's fake, fake energy. They give you the, the coffee. So you think, oh, I'm an energetic person. I feel great. No, most people without coffee can't even function at the minimum level. So they have the fake coffee. And you're not going to get coffee out there on an adventure. You go on a real jungle adventure. You go to discover new lands. You go to do something great with your life. There's no Starbucks on every corner out on a big adventure. And so they just make you 
easier to rule and make sure you never want to leave this 15 minute area. Most people need, there's, they're like domesticated humans. They're a separate kind of animal, a separate kind of species. They need the hair color. They need the lip plumper. They need the TV. They need the coffee. They need the booze. They need the porn. And this, you don't understand, this is all thought out all in advance where the average person for what they rely on. Like we all need companionship. We all need mates. We all need sexual satisfaction. That's why they give you the porn. And they know that you'll only get the porn in the big cities. You're a domesticated human. You get the fake, you get the fake energy from the coffee. You're a domesticated human. You're sitting there doing sh sweet fuck all with your life. Absolutely nothing. But you can feel like you're doing something if you watch TV. There's no TV out there in the jungle. There's no TV out there in real adventure. You're a domesticated human. They've made an artificial reality, an artificial zoo for the domesticated human to get everything fake pumped into their life. So they'll never, you don't need too much for the 15 minute city. You don't, you, you just going to tell people, yeah, you're in a zoo. You're in, you're a caged domestic animal and you're free to go out. You're completely free to go out. They'll even probably tell you, there'll probably be no barriers, but they'll say, if you got to go out, you can't come back. And when you go out, there's no Starbucks out there. There's no Netflix. There's no alcohol. There's no porn. You can't get porn on your phone. And the average person who doesn't know how to handle a mate or, or make a relationship, all they got is their phone, their hand, and their pornography. That person's a domesticated human. This is probably where the only place where they get their sexual satisfaction. Fake fake sexual satisfaction so you're living in a simulacra a simulation just like they used to in matrix with neo's red pot of goo they're gonna pretty well put you in a red pot of goo with all these internet ports and pump everything fake into your nervous system so it tricks your nervous system to sit there and rot It'll be just like watching Netflix, but you'll never get up. You'll be permanently screwed into the couch. You, they'll pump your occupation into your brain as well, pushing their emails around. You'll never move. They want you out from out there on the savanna to in Neo's Red Pot of Goo. They're doing it step by step, and you better take a look because they're really smart. If you need more information like this, you know what to do. Email me at Jason. Uh, info at jchristoff.com. This is Jason Christoph. Thank you for listening.